here, my background noise, and I'm making sure that this is going. I have here, I'm going to double taste this, I have here two things of Chips Ahoy. The Reese's, with the, with the peanut butter center, and apparently the, the chocolate chips are Reese's, I call it, I guess, and the brownies. These are filled ones, I believe. This is filled, isn't this? Or is this? Or are these peanut butter cups? Oh! These are real chocolate chip cookies, and they have the peanut- Okay, these aren't extra filled. These are made with Reese's peanut butter, but these are not filled. These are- they have peanut butter- The Reese's peanut butter things for the chocolate chips. And this is the brownie filled. I have- So that's why I'm looking outside to- Help me- Turn my mouth tree and- This is the two different cookies. I'm only having two cookies. Are oh, you want to take a quick look at the package? There's that, and that, that. That's pretty much it. No, let's see if we can get this open. You can't have this, Peyton. There's a dog by my side. And he doesn't realize that these are chocolate cookies he can't have now. He smells like peanut butter, that's why he's up my butt. These are pretty little. You can see the chocolate chips and the peanut butter chips. So apparently it's Reese's brand that made these particular peanut butter chips and probably the chocolate chips too, but I don't know for sure. I'm tasting it. I don't know what I think. We're gonna see what it looks like. It's pretty good, but peanut butter is very strong. And then it is strong. It's like you get in ways of chocolate chips and ways of peanut butter, it's not as consistent. Yeah. Take it with the brown one. Okay. Says heat for a treat. Place two cookies on a microwave on a paper napkin and microwave for six to eight seconds on high. Do not always eat. Yeah, so look here. Wish me luck on open this one. Opening the pair of cookies. But I can, eh? I think these are kind of small too, it's the good thing. You can see what the outside looks like. I'm gonna see this package up here. Let's break her open. And that's inside. I don't know pretty filled. It's not a strong brownie taste, but I imagine it would be kind of gooier if you heat it up. Let me try it with a chunk of milk. The milk always... I have all my milk, is that's just my preference. I'm gonna buy it to do the same thing, but I'll end up eating the whole tax.
out of six, I give these a four. And these a four. They're both a four. They're pretty good, but they're not great. And they're definitely not buy again worthy. They're like a three and a half to four. Which kind of better? The peanut butter. Even though I'm not a general fan of peanut butter, it's just not my thing. The peanut butter ones overall, three to they just had overall slightly better. I don't know. The brownie makes the cookie a little bit off for something. I don't know. But it's not a bad cookie. It's a pretty good cookie. It's just. I think both could be a lot better. But if I had to choose one and I had to eat one of these for the rest of my life, I'd choose the, I'd choose the Reese's even though it's not so consistent. And actually, that's pretty good for a peanut butter cookie because, yeah. Peanut butter. I'm so over peanut butter. But I decided to grab it at the store because it looked interesting. But I actually thought it was filled with the brownie one, but it's not. And I think the problem with the brownie one is more that it's overfilled. I'm overfilling it and really filling it, but there's such a thing as going too far. And I think they just did a little too much. If the layer was a little thinner, it probably tastes a little better. And I've heard that some of the other filled ones are not filled enough. These are filled a little too much. Yeah, that's all.